What's going on guys? Welcome back. What's going on assistant GMs? How's it going? Welcome back to another Anaheim GM mode. This is going to be episode number three. We are in December here and uh, in the last episode I was asking you guys asking you guys what to do for the power play lines and what to do for the other lines and whatnot. So what I went ahead and uh, I'm going to do here, you guys were telling me to put Stefan Robida on the second line alongside Lucas Spiza and then bring Oli Mata up to the first line with uh, Cam Fowler. I think that's a pretty good uh, idea. You know, uh, Robida is not really a first line defensive kind of... I mean, he's a good... Look at his defensive uh, awareness. 86, he's got great physical categories. A much better second liner than... A first liners, I agree on that. And playing Oli Mata alongside Cam Fowler is going to do nothing but make his potential and make his growth go up, up, up. So that is awesome. Uh, the majority of our defensemen are plus players. I think that Brian Allen and Cam Fowler excuse me, are the only ones who are, I think, yeah, Cam Fowler's even, and I think Brian Allen's minus two, if I remember right, yeah, minus two, so it's not bad, I mean, he's Brian Allen, right, uh, not, he's not really the most offensive dude in a while, scored five goals in the last four years, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and put Oli Mata there, and then we're gonna go make a move here, we're gonna put Hampus Lindholm, there was overwhelming support to put Hampus Lindholm on the first line, defensive core, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna give him power play time, because it's Steve Amber there's no way that we need Steve. Yeah, 30 years old. This guy's going to be nothing. So we need Hampus Lindholm to get as much experience as possible. We're going to put him there. Uh, Vadanen, CC, looking good. Okay, and then you guys are telling me to, and then you guys are telling me to uh, trade Robida and Winnick for a good young defenseman, and then put Smith Pelly in Winnick's spot. So Winnick is playing on the fourth line right now. Then you guys are telling me to put Smith Pelly down here, get rid of Daniel Winnick in a trade, and then put Emerson Edom there. And I like that move, but I think we're going to give Emerson Edom one more year in the minors, and then we're going to bring him up. Um, he's going to play on the third line next year. I like having Devontae Smith and Pelly there. I like his uh, defensive category and uh, make that third line pretty grindy. I don't, I mean, it would be nice to have a sniper there, but I'm not going to rush Emerson Edom. We're going to keep him here. I mean, he's doing fine. If he's a plus player, you're doing all right. Six points in 20 some games on the, the third line. It's not bad. Winnick's a good fourth liner as well. Doesn't have the best, um, actually, actually, his uh, discipline's much better than I thought. He's, he's only 28, so. Um, he's actually not a bad player. Got pretty good shooting. His skating's decent. Physical categories, middle of the road, but his defensive awareness at 85, uh, shot blocking 85, and stick checking 85. He's a perfect fourth liner for our team, but, um... That's it. We're going to jump into some simulation now. Nick Benino is our really weak spot on that second line. If we had a player like, say, Ryan Kessler or uh, who's a really good second liner, uh, man, like you guys know, like Mike Camilleri or something there, that would be just a perfect spot. So maybe in the trade deadline, we're going to try to move uh, not so much Nick Benino because he's got such a low trade value, but maybe we'll move someone like Paul Mary. And then once we move Paul Mary, we can easily bring up um, Emerson E. Them. So it really depends for the trade deadline. Right now we are 25, 16, and 1. So it's not a bad record. We're currently, where are we? We are sitting uh, first in the Pacific Division, 51 points. So uh, we're not doing bad. I think we were sixth in the in the NHL for points. The trade deadline is right here. So I'm probably going to get the trade deadline done in this episode. And then I'm going to stop after the trade deadline. Then we'll go towards the end of the regular season into the next episode. And that'll be the... Uh, That'll be the end of this uh, year one. Hopefully be a lengthy playoff run. We have Corey Perry playing out of this world right now. We're going to slow sim this game. What I like to do is slow sim the first game of every month and the last game of every month just for fun. Why not? But first period here, Corey Perry. There we go. Second period, 2-1. to one. Corey Perry again, and then Nail Yakupov. That was a shorthanded goal. So Corey Perry is the heart and soul of this team. Do we make him captain, guys? Do we take the captaincy off of Ryan Getzloff and give it to Corey Perry? I don't know. Uh, he's playing amazing. Koivu there, nice on the third line, getting a nice goal there. Oh, they get one late, but it does not matter because Koivu got the, the dagger and we take a 3-2 victory there even though they outshot us Jonas Hiller with uh, 20 or 
30 stops, whatever that was. So let's get this whole month done. We'll slow sim the last game here against the Flyers, and then we're going to move all the way onto the trade deadline. So I think we're going to be just fine here. Uh, Perry's having an outstanding year. You guys know that. Um, but I think we're going to be all right. If we just par stay park and course here, we keep it going, I think we're going to be just fine. The Canucks don't have a very good record, and we lose 7-3. to three. What are we? Friggin', are we the Canucks, and are they the Islanders? Oh, man, that game last night. The Canucks grew up 3 to nothing, and then they were ended up losing seven to fucking four they ended up putting in four goal or sorry seven goals in the third period that was just just a disgrace uh i'm the hardcore canucks fan till the day that i die so even if we go ahead and lose 190 games in a row i'll still wear my canucks jersey proud it's just hard to watch but with the anaheim ducks here we're losing some games lost four nothing there against detroit again against vancouver what can we do here can perry get his 20th goal of the year no we lose five two what is all these losses? We do not need to get these losses here. Huge game against the Chicago Blackhawks, the best team in the league. And we lose 3-1. Okay, okay. Calm her down. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, win, please win, St. Louis. St. Louis win. And we win 3-1. Nice. Okay, so that was four losses in a row. I don't like that. I don't like that shit. Let's keep it up. Uh, big game here against the Winnipeg Jets. I believe they have a pretty good record if I remember right. I think they were like two spots ahead of us maybe or one spot. Uh, we got a scout here. Let's put them to forwards and let's go um, the dub. Let's go in the dub. I think I went to the dub. Actually, I haven't went to the dub yet. So let's go to the WHL there. Uh, yeah, they have a pretty good record as well. So hopefully we can beat them. They have a very good record this would be some big points for us here come on boys and we pull out a 3-2 win nice Perry gets his 21st goal of the year 35 assists oh my god he's having a sick year um 30 and 20 pretty much exact same record as us and we lose to our California rivals the LA Kings 3-2 uh it wasn't in overtime so we didn't even get a point there another game against Anaheim get some redemption here we're in LA this time and we come on boys get some big wins here fucking lost five nothing what is going on we had a great start to the year now we're starting to come down to earth I'm, I think here what's going on boys what's going on the wild should be an easy win don't have a very good record but they do have Parise and they fucking win six to nothing are you serious okay well let's just burn this month burn this burn this this whole month first period here against the Flyers 1-1 one, one, uh, Andrew McDonald and uh, the newly acquired Andrew McDonald might I add and Kyle Palmieri second period 2-2 two, two, uh, Ryan Gutzlaff and Wayne Train there get one for them the Wayne Train's been scoring on us every time I slow sim against the Flyers he always seems to put one in uh pretty even in the shot category come on boys get one late uh, so we're going to OT here get a point that's nice come on shootout and we win in the shootout gets left and Perry and then Giroud gets one for them but we already have those two goals from gets and Perry so we get the victory 3-2 nice good 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 stuff okay so after this month now, we probably dropped in the standings. We're probably not first in the Pacific now. Uh, we dropped a lot. Uh, we're probably like third or fourth, which kind of sucks. But let's uh, check it out here. We're done that month. Done January. Thank God. Toronto acquired Patrick Eliash from New Jersey in exchange for a first in Greg McKaig. I don't know what's going on with Toronto. Didn't they get like Derek Morris in the last episode or something? They got some really old player. Uh, going for the veterans, and they send Morgan Riley back to junior. Yeah, so we're third in the um, in the Pacific now. Those losses against uh, the Kings really, really hurt us. So who's in our division? Vancouver, Edmonton, San Jose, Calgary, L.A., and Phoenix. So, yeah, okay, we got all the way up here to the trade deadline. We'll go, we'll go uh, slow sim the last game. Or I was supposed to slow sim this game, but I forgot. So we slow sim the last one. But whatever, 6-1 to one loss. Come on, boy. I got to make a change here. Something's got to happen. Three, yeah, we're just losing games. We cannot afford to lose these games at all. All right. Uh, Joe Corvo, 77 overall, 36 years old. We don't need him. Up against a crazy team here in the Chicago Blackhawks. Let's make some moves. Uh, not necessarily trades, just line changes. Um, 
We bring Koivu up to the second line. He seems to be playing good. Uh, 13 points in comparison to Benino's, what, he's probably got like 20, 23. So I guess we'll keep Benino up there. It's not all about points either. Uh, is he a minus player? He is a minus one. So that's kind of concerning. You guys were telling me to trade this guy. There's no reason to trade Jakob Silverberg. Why would I want to make Jojin cry himself to sleep? Uh, but there's no reason to trade this guy. Four-star left-wing sniper. He's got tons of potential guys he's still young 23 years old there's no reason why i should trade this guy just wait he's gonna be awesome i can guarantee it he's a uh, super sweet and they never let me down ever but a uh, cogliano minus nine he's got 30 points um i don't know what to do here guys i don't know what to do let's change up our power play and shit someone was telling me to put uh ryan gets off on the point for the power play i don't think i want to do that what i'm going to do though is uh change up put Silverberg on the first line, put Lupul. How is Lupul even doing there? 29 points. Not bad. Um, some of you guys like the, like the Lupul trade. Some of you guys didn't. But again, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Only 30 points playing alongside Getzlaff and Perry. It should be a little bit better. You should be playing a little bit better than that, Loops. I don't know. Uh, Robidaw, Mata, uh, power play. A uh, power play looks good. Why do we got Cogliano on the power play? No, 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 no. We need, um, let's put Lupul. Actually, Cogliano is already there. Let's change up. Uh, actually, Getzlaff and Perry kind of have to play together because they're like uh, dolphins the way that they communicate together. It's pretty crazy. Let's put Silverberg on the power play with Lupul and uh, the penalty kill. Cogliano, Getzlaff, Perry, and Benino. I like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I put Brian Allen on the on the, the penalty kill. That's what you guys were telling me in the comments. Uh, Three-man penalty kill, Benino, and Getzlaff. It looks fine. I just don't know. I don't know. Should we... Anderson, is he... Um, so Jonas Hiller is 26 and 22, and Frederick Anderson is what? He is 5 and 4. So our goalies aren't playing out of this world. They're having a much better start to the year, but uh, maybe post-trade deadline we can... Um we can hopefully turn this around here. There you go. Huge win against the Hawks, against a very good team in the Hawks. We spank them 5-2. to two. So technically we're still in a playoff spot, I believe. Uh, either we're like 4th or 3rd in the Pacific. Uh, this video is probably going to be like a 20-minuter. So I hope you guys don't mind that. But uh, another game here against against the uh, National Players. We're going to lose 5-3. 32-27-1. to three. 32, 27, and one. So I don't know here, guys. I don't know. We started off great. We really, really did. Um, Perry is having a great year, but we cannot. I think that's our problem is just our depth. Other than Perry and Getzlaff, it's really not looking too good. Nick Benino as a second liner, uh, that's uh, that's not very good. We'll try to move him though. Uh, again, I'm gonna try to move Sheldon Surrey as well for a pick because he's making like 3.2 or something in the minors, but um. Just having Perry and Getzlaff kind of take the whole lead of the team. That's what they should do. They're our best players. But to have them being the only ones scored. Oh, two firsts for Ryan Callahan. Oh, baby. Ooh, two, our two firsts for this year. I'm not going to do that. Ryan Callahan's a great player, but he's not someone that we need right now. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to. We'll see if we actually. I'll give up what pick is worth more. Um. My pick is worth more, so we'll give them uh, and uh, we'll give them Ottawa's a first. Who's a second line player? We could trade Cogliano. He's not getting any any better there. He's making three million. He's having a good year. He's got 35, 32 points. So um, a first in Cogliano for Ryan Callahan. Would that go through? Um, Callahan is definitely an upgrade from Cogliano for sure. He's a look at his defensive category. That's what I like. 88, 89, 89. He's got good discipline, de really good poise, good shot, good physical category. And if we don't make this trade go through right now, probably something we're going to have to go through. We're going to have to try out in uh, the trade deadline. So let's give a first Cogliano. Is he really worth it though? He's 28 years old. He's 87 overall. I like this trade. Uh, just the first really can concerns me I don't want to give up a first especially in the this year especially let's give a 2016 first um it's a pick we don't really have to worry about a 2016 first Cogliano and a third for Callahan yeah it did go through so we got Ryan Callahan um I like that move I really like that move that was kind of weird that they came at me with Callahan but um 
hold on, we'll put him in the lineup here. He's a good penalty killer, so maybe that can make our penalty kill go up because our penalty kill was terrible. And uh, I know Cogliano declined. So he, uh, getting an 84 for an 87 overall, not bad at all. Ryan Callahan there. I like that. I like that. That makes that line much better. He is a grinder. He is a grinder. I don't really like having grinders in my top six, but he is a special player, Ryan Callahan. Um I like that. I like that. Thank you, Tampa Bay. Let's put him on our penalty kill and shit. Uh, we can even put him on the power play even. Let's take uh, Silverberg off, put Callahan there. What's his face-offs like? 65, and what's Lupul's like? Lupul doesn't need to play here. He's got 65 as well. We can put another centerman there. We can put uh, Benino there. How about put Benino? Uh, penalty kill. Let's put, not Perot. We need Callahan, uh, Perry, and Benino. Good. PK is definitely going to be Callahan. Uh, four on four, Callahan, Benino, I like it. So let's see how uh, Ryan Callahan does. It's kind of a trade that I wasn't really expecting to make, but Ryan Callahan, I think, is the perfect change up that we need after having a terrible month there. Uh, shake things up a little bit. So let's see how he does here in his first game with Anaheim Ducks, his third team in less than a couple of months here. First period, one to nothing, or sorry, one to one. The shootout master TJ Oshi and Ben Lovejoy. Second period, three to one. Uh, Ryan Callahan, there you go, scores in his debut. At a boy, uh, Steve Ock gets one for them, and Fowler and Callahan, nice. At a boy, Cali. Uh, oh fuck, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, Matthew Perot, the fourth liner. There you go. That's what we need from you guys down there. Our depth scoring, boys. Good stuff. Good stuff. And he gets the game winner with 13 minutes left. At a boy after getting outshot like crazy. They started Brian Elliott and not Jonas Hiller. So that was cool. How many points did he get actually? Just the just the one point there for Ryan Callahan. Still good to score in your debut. No real concerns there. Let's uh, see if he can keep his point production going. See how many games he uh, continues, or see how many. Um, how much of a uh, streak he can go on since coming to our team. You know, change of scenery may be a good thing for Ryan Callahan, and it may shake up our team a little bit after having a terrible, terrible month. But first period here, 2-3, to three, Cam Fowler and Ole Mata there. So our defense getting it done. And then we started We started Frederick Anderson, Semin scores two, and Lyles gets one there. Three goals on 11 shots, not very good, Anderson. Second period, 4-2. Oh, boy, this game's over. Okay. Okay, so we're only down 4 2. We can get one before the 10 minute mark. Oh, no, this game's well over. Ooh, Captain Callie. There you go, Callahan. Not a captain here, but Callahan scoring in back to back games for our, for our club. So. Uh, that was a pretty good pickup. I mean, we're only two games in, but still, two points uh, for Callahan in two games. Not too bad. Not too. Actually, he had three points. He got an assist there. So we're going to the trade deadline here. Uh, that was a tough loss there, but Carolina's got a really good record. So we're going to the trade deadline. Uh, scout again. Jesus, leave me alone, buddy. Leave me alone. Forwards in the O. Sure. I should probably start doing defensemen. After this one, I'll start scouting defensemen up. But I really would like to trade Nick Benino. Uh, the thing is, I don't really want to give up any more draft picks. We did give up that first round pick. But the thing is, I like having uh, lots of first and lots of uh, second round picks for the first year because that year is usually just stacked so uh, for draft picks wise anyways so let's go ahead and put uh, let's put Paul Mary on there because he can be something he can be a player that we can definitely move and then um, who can we get let's put Winnick who did I say I was going to put on there um, nobody I just guess I'll put Daniel Winnick on there so let's go ahead and hump in the trade deadline. All right, let's go to the trade deadline here, and uh, let's see if we can make any moves. I don't think I'm going to make moves necess necessarily, but I will entertain offers. Uh, Nick Benino is someone who I do, who I would like to move, although he's got absolute shit for trade potential. Yeah, whereas Nick Benino has got absolutely nothing for. He's listed as a th as a third liner. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Nick Benino, 28 points. I mean, it's not bad. Is there anyone that's uh, uh, giving up. Seth Griffith would be nice. Fuck Ole Oaken in no way. Uh, Vancouver, Toronto, Tampa Bay, St. Louis. Uh, some defensemen there, but no. Pouliot would be nice. Doan would be nice. Someone actually suggested Shane Doan, but I'm not going to go get him. Uh, Yager, too old. Nashville, Matt Cullen, good 
third liner. Uh, I could get Molson. Uh, there's no reason to get him though. Danny Heatley, Matt Cook. Uh, did Heatley? Heatley got a huge. He's only 82 overall now. Holy shit. He got uh, he got crazy decline there in the new roster update. So it doesn't look like there's really anybody to trade. Stastny, Paul Stastny. Wow. Someone actually uh, suggested this. So we can go after Paul freaking Stastny. He's 85 overall. He's 28. That could be a huge move for our team. He's making six million. What's his uh, one year left? So we can re-sign him at this year, hopefully for a lot cheaper. Ooh, okay, what else can we trade? We can trade Paul Mary. Okay, we'll trade Paul Mary. Uh, I need another player back. I'll take uh, Benoit. I'll take Benoit. Nick Benino and Kyle Paul Mary for Paul Stastny and Andre Benoit. I don't think that's going to go through. I'll probably have to add a pick again, which I don't really like doing. But if we're getting Paul Stastny, it's a huge upgrade from Nick Benino. Uh, I can try. I'll give you a second and a third. I know I shouldn't be giving away picks like this. Uh, two seconds just to make sure it's going to go through. Stastny for two seconds, Paul Mary and Benino. Uh, yeah, let's try that. It did go through. Nice. Okay, we got it. That's the only trade I want to make. I'll entertain offers, but that's the only trade I want to make. Um, they're just draft picks, and if we're getting a player that we can use, they're just draft picks, so I'm not even worried about it. And the first year is really when the draft is stacked, so i uh, very happy about that. Okay, Paul Stastny, I could have got away with one second, but I really wanted to make sure that trade's going to go through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the episode here, and you guys can tell me what you thought about it. Paul Stastny, Ryan Callahan, and Jakob Silverberg, I like that a lot. That makes our team much, much, much stronger. Uh, I like it a lot. Power play, oh, it's going to make our power play better. It's going to make everything better. What I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and slow sim one game here just to see how Paul Stastny does and see if Ryan Callahan can keep his, uh, keep his pace going in here but first period one nothing second period two oh <laughs> silverberg and robida thought that was uh callahan gary go ryan guts laugh we're getting out shot like crazy uh come on come on come on come on come on come on do we got it do we get a first win here oh placanic ruins it no thomas placanic are you serious Oh my god, going into a shootout here, and we lose in the shootout. So, I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the moves that I made. I think they were really good. Um, tr I don't really like to trade draft picks that much. Stastny got a point, which is nice. But still, I uh, really wouldn't. I really don't want to trade picks, but if we're getting players that are going to help our team for the future, I think we're going to be just fine. Uh, there's really no other moves. Oh, Camilleri went to Montreal, back to Montreal, and that was about it. Um... We got score. Let's see where we are. We're third in the Pacific. So I may actually just record till the end of the day and have two GM. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to record to the end of the regular season, do a whole regular season wrap up, and then I'll have two GMs out for you guys today. So I'm going to go ahead and record another one. This one's already at 23 minutes, and I'll see you guys in the next video.